You're entertaining your kids by streaming the Disney movie Frozen. Suddenly, your screen is frozen and the kids won't let it go. If you're having Wi-Fi or router issues, Broadband Now can help. I'm Kristen Malia for Broadband Now, the most comprehensive resource for internet plans, pricing, and coverage. We've all been there. You're streaming a movie or surfing the internet when... Wow, that felt weird. On your computer, you might see no internet access. On your couch, you might see... If you don't quickly get the kids back to Arendelle, you may have to entertain them yourself. Remain calm. Odds are you can fix the problem without having to call your internet provider, or a handyman, or a babysitter. First, find your router, which routes your internet signal to your computers, phones, and other devices. It may be part of a gateway that combines a router with a modem, or the modem, which connects your home to the internet, could be a separate device. If you're in doubt, the modem will be connected directly to your internet source and a separate router would be connected to the modem. Routers often have antennas. Simply unplug the router, wait two minutes, then plug it back in. Its light should start turning green or blue as the internet gradually returns to your devices. Believe it or not, that simple step fixes the problem 99% of the time. If you're still having issues, look at the lights on your router. An orange or amber light could indicate a problem or limited connectivity. A red or unlit icon may signal there is no current connection. You may need to reach out to your internet service provider. They may be experiencing problems affecting more customers than just you. Perhaps Kim Kardashian broke the internet, or maybe you just forgot to pay the bill. If internet outages are so frequent that you want to explore all your options, type in your zip code at Broadband Now, which helps millions of consumers each year find and compare local internet service providers. <laughs>